Microsoft Loop versus Notion versus Coda, which is the best collaboration platform? So maybe you're torn between choosing Microsoft Loop, um, Notion, and Coda. And maybe you don't know which one to go for when it comes to your best collaboration platform. Um, I'm telling you now, each of these platforms excel in different aspects. And in this video, we'll be talking about them. But first, I have here a little bit about Microsoft Loop. Um, actually, over the past few years, Microsoft had fallen behind on the collaboration front as a lot of big companies like Google and Slack and Trello began taking over. But what happened was after purchasing LinkedIn, Discord, and some launching teams, it's clearly the company that feels Scrap collaboration tools are an area that it wants to dominate. And we've seen that here in this uh, software called Microsoft Loop. But uh, this one, okay, let's say a team is chatting in Microsoft Teams and the team wants to decide on a new slogan for their company. So with new loop components, what it does is that um, a team can, uh, uh, yeah, a team member can dynamically add a poll to the chat so that the rest of the team can vote. Yep, we've seen this in a lot of messaging apps also before, but this one, it's about time that we start seeing them on collaboration apps which is this application but another example would be let's say a team leader needs to know the status of where the current assignment is right so the leader can add a status checker box in the middle of the chat where other team members can check off on what's been accomplished and for companies with specific tools or workflows it will be possible for specific components to be made and integrated. And this custom functionality will be explained in uh, the future parts of this video. But my uh, loop pages is the next element in Microsoft loops, that's for sure. And think of it as a blank canvas or whiteboard where teams can move around elements, files, link, and data to help organize thoughts. And apparently it will have high-fiving emojis. Ah uh, yeah, emojis. That's exciting. Yeah. So basically, this is how it's going to look like. Um, I I really like how it looks like all of these elements are going to be moving. Yep, you can see here there are fast transitions of people who are inside each project. So I can see that it will become a thing. The attention uh, aspect that it's bringing into the dashboard is really superb now you start thinking of those people with the green dots that not only as uh, virtual representations of your workmates but your actual workmates who are moving around the workspace and you see them doing their jobs and that kind of like give it the feeling of adrenaline that we all want that we all like in our workspaces and I think that's that's a good one, Microsoft Loop. Well, I think Microsoft has been really popular with moving tiles. I think they're the one who actually started the thing over with movable, moving objects or icons. They started it with uh, Windows 8, if I'm not mistaken. But it didn't really take off from there. And so they went on back with the Windows 10 with yeah with basically the start button and we're seeing a different play now with windows 11 but anyway let me talk about notion right here um notion is part project management tool and part note taking app that's what i can say because it combines the best of both types of software but it falls a little short when it comes to more advanced features and that said, it's still an excellent tool that's worth your attention. And yeah, it's also because it's a delightfully different app. It's a part one note-taking app. And again, it's a part task management tool. And it combines the best of both types of programs to create something unique. And uh, yeah, some of the key takeaways is that Notion combines a note-taking tool with a productivity app. That's one thing. The combination of tasks. 
<coughs> management with wikis and notes makes Notion ideal for writers, um, graphic designers, and uh, what else? Other creatives as well as marketers and the like. And the Notion is free for one person, but it's yeah, it's also uh, making it like a great choice for freelancers who need to keep track of tasks and take notes at the same time. But you're going to be paying once you're going to want to add in a lot more users inside the application. Next thing that we have here is Coda, you guys. So I'm not sure if you've had <clears throat> or if you've heard of this before. But um, Coda is a new document software that brings words, data, and teams together. This one is more focused on people who really write. Well, don't get me wrong. Microsoft Floop is also good for this, but if there, yeah, I think there are some people who are just looking for rooms, workspaces to just write together. And if you're one of those teams, Coda will be perfect for you. You don't need to learn complicated stuff here. You don't have to be like, um, I mean, the le there is no learning curve here. Um, it's simple. It's direct forward. If you say you want to write together, you can just go ahead and write together. You don't even need to like, like what I said, learn about stuff or try to um, take some time off just to learn about it. But um, what's good about it is that it comes, this one, Coda, it comes with a set of building blocks, you know, like pages for infinite depth, tables that talk to each other and buttons that take action inside or outside your document which anyone can combine to make a document as powerful as an app. So people have made Coda documents that do, or Coda docs that do everything from launch products to scale small businesses to help them study for tests as well. And uh, yeah, those are some of the things that people use Coda for. Okay, let's take a look back at all the apps here again. We have Microsoft Loop, Notion, and Coda. If you're a team, who has you know a lot of departments working together constantly collaborating i definitely recommend microsoft Loop for that for notion if you're someone who's you know a freelancer you work with a few teams or you kind of just want to work for your own schedule definitely go ahead and try notion out for coda um i'd recommend this for writers but a lot a lot of teams can actually use this uh, not only writers but those who collaborate ideas because i can see this like a as you know uh, as a simple what do you call this a much more simple um yeah replacement or some some sort of replacement for microsoft loop right here but both of these platforms work the same way when it comes to the um document editing part but i really like how notion is free for a single person so yeah, if you're a freelancer just looking forward to manage your time, definitely check Notion out. But if you're neither, if you're really wanting to co collaborate with Teams, consider Microsoft Loop because knowing how where Microsoft has been going on when it comes to work management software, I think it's promising and I think it's worth checking out. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope to see you again on the next one. Peace out.